$1,000. By John D'Antonio Jr., driven by Drew Campbell. Number two, McBean Town, owned by Milton and Zachary Vickerson, the driver Drew Monte. Number three, Twin BJs, owned by Kevin G., Randy Bickmore, and Colin Jerry, driven by Nick Raffham. Number four, Finbar, owned by Nancy Longobardi, the driver Jay Randall. Marcus Silster, number five, owned by the Jesmerell Stable, Sean Gray driving. And number six, Hoosier Shark, owned by the Burke Racing Stable, Weaver, Bruschemi, and Dillon. Kevin Switzer, Jr., in the Sulky. Post time for the upcoming first race. First race pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. First race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Star Island and McBean Town both going out for the lead. Far outside there goes Hoosier Shark showing good early speed. Down inside Twin Beat Jays. Comes away racing in fourth, a length back to Finbar. And true on the field, it's Marcus Silster. Paddock turn the first time. Off stride goes Hoosier Shark. Hoosier Shark is on a break. It's now Star Island on top. Star Island shows the way by a length. Right there in second, McBean Town. Twin BJ's moving up towards the inside third as they pace by the opening quarter in 27 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. Drew Campbell has Star Island at 7 5 on top by a length. McBean Town second, Twin BJ's third. At length back, saving ground fourth, Finbar. Followed up by Marcus Silster and Troll the field back on the pace. It's Hoosier Shark. They swing around the clubhouse turn. Star Island with the lead. A pocket trip, McBean Town. Riding the pocket in second at Twin BJ's, ground saving third. They're halfway home in 56 and 2. They strain out down the back stretch. Star Island with the lead, heading toward that three quarter mile marker. McBean Town is second. Twin BJ's underway on the outside third. Down inside, Finbar is fourth. A length back to Marcus Silster. And a trail in the field, that's Hoosier Shark. As they round the fourth turn, Star Island with the lead. Moving up on the outside, here comes Twin BJ's. Twin BJ's on the attack on the outside, locked in. Towards the inside, McBean Town racing third. Three quarters here in 123 and four. Around the final turn. Off stride on the front end, Star Island. Star Island is going off stride. It's now Twin BJ's moving up on the outside. Here comes Finbar racing in second. They're at the top of the stretch. And turn for home, Twin BJ's up on the outside. Here comes Finbar bearing down. Finbar on the outside. Twin BJ's grants the inside. Marcus Silster, deep stretch. Twin BJ's at 25 to 1. Time for the mile, 153 and 1. And Colin Jerry, trained by Randy Bickmore, driven to victory by Nick Raffone. Twin BJ's pacing the mile in 153 and 150. For race number two. These are the pacers for race number two. Number one, Kitty Hoyne. Owned and driven by Jimmy Whittemore. Number two, Andy Three. Owned by the MG Stable, driven by Bruce Ranger. Number three, Cornered Beach. Owned by Mike Girard, the driver is Sean Gray. 
Number four, Hired Luck. Owned by John D'Antonio Jr., driven by Drew Campbell. Miss Trickster, number five. Owned by Robert Holden, driven by Drew Monte. Number six, There Was This Girl. Owned by the George Ducharme Stable. And Heather Marshall, driven by Nick Raffham. Number seven, Woman in Gold Inn. Owned by Robert Kopak. Kevin Switzer, Jr., driving. And number eight, Peppermint Mocha. Owned by Paul and Rosalie Vaca, Jim Hardy, and the Sulky. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Second race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Andy three steps out for the lead. Right alongside, cornered beach. Hired Luck joins him on the outside three wide. There was this girl moving up on the outside away fourth. Down inside, Kitty Hoyne. Gap of two lanes to Miss Trickster. Woman in gold in. And trill in the field, that's Peppermint Mocha. Paddock turned the first time, rolling up on the outside three deep. There was this girl from between horses. At a three, opening quarter on the board goes in 27 and one. They're in the stretch for the first time. Nick Raffin puts there was this girl on top by a length. At a three is second. Hired Luck racing third. Cornered Beach racing in fourth. A length back in fifth. Kitty Hoyne. Then comes Miss Trickster. Length back, woman in gold in. And trail in the field, that's Peppermint Mocha. They swing around the clubhouse turn. There was this girl. At four to five on the point, shown the way by a length. Right there in second at eight three. Uh, down inside, hired luck is third. They're halfway home in 56 and one. They strain out down the back stretch. There was this girl, opens up a two length lead. Uh, moving up on the outside, here comes hired luck. Hired luck moving up on the outside. She's now second and gaining ground towards the inside. Andy three back to third. Uh, up on the outside, racing and fourth woman in gold in. Boxed in towards the inside, cornered beach. Three quarters here in 123 and four. They're on the final turn. There was this girl with the lead. Hired luck towards the inside, racing in second. Down inside, woman in gold in, a distant third. They're at the uh, top of the stretch and turn for home, and they're all chasing. There was this girl who strides out to a four length lead. Hired luck is second up on the outside, Miss Trickster has moved into third in deep stretch. It will be There Was This Girl in full command. Higher Luck was second, Miss Trickster third. Time for the mile, 152 and three. This girl, a three-year-old bay filly by So Surreal, out of the company store by Ameripan Gigolo, Owned by the George Ducharme Stable and Heather Marshall. Trained by George Ducharme. Driven to victory by Nick Raffham. Nick Raffham taking both and three. And the starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Third race pacers in behind the gate. They're off 
off and pacing from the inside. Come on, Rags and Stormy Beach going out for the lead. Uh, mid pack, there goes Patty All Day. Latin King down inside. Comes away fourth. Four outside, there goes Mickey. You so fine. Followed by Dillinger. And true on the field, it's Hula's Boy. Paddock turn the first time, rolling up on the outside. Here comes Patty All Day. Patty All Day on the outside comes on to get the lead. Uh, down inside, uh, Stormy Beach. Mickey, you so fine on the outside third. Quarter time goes in 26 and 3. They're in the stretch for the first time. Patty all day driving up on the outside. Here comes Mickey, you so fine. And now Drew Monte puts Mickey, you so fine on top by a length. Patty all day second up on the outside. Here comes Dillinger underway from third. Locked in. Stormy Beach racing and fourth up on the outside. A second over. Come on, Rags. Followed by uh, Latin King. And true on the field, it's Hula's boy. Halftime goes in 54 and 4. They strain out down the back stretch. Mickey, you so fine on top by a length. Up on the outside, Dillinger racing in second, locked in. A patty all day, a chasing in third. Come on, Rags on the outside, covered up towards the inside, Stormy Beach. From the back of the pack, there goes Hula's boy. And now, true in the field, it's Latin King. Three quarters on the board here in 123 and 2. They're on the final turn. Mickey, you so fine, continues to lead. Dillinger on the outside. Patty all day looking for racing room towards the inside up on the outside. Three wide. There it goes. Come on, Rags racing in fourth. They're at the uh, top of the stretch and turn for home. Mickey, you so fine, set down for the stretch drive. On the outside, Patty all day through the stretch. Mickey, you so fine. Patty all day, far outside. Here comes Hula's boy. Hula's boy on the outside. Hula's boy. Mickey, you so fine. At the way, they are heads apart. Time for the mile, 153 and 3. Returning to the winner's circle, number four, trained and driven to a new lifetime record by Russell Lanfer. Hula's boy pacing the mile at 153 and three-fifths. For show position between number two, come on, Rags, and number five, Patty All Day. Once again, dead heat. Third race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Latin King was sixth. Come on, Rags. Finished in a dead heat. And Ralph Anderson driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number two, Patelli Hanover. All by William McElvain, Jr. Driven by Drew Monte. Number three, Sweet Entity. Owned by Jim Winsky, the driver, Jay Randall. Number four, Marty's Girl. Owned by Joe Wheeler, driven by Matt Athern. Bikini, Beach, Lindy, number five. Owned by the Lindy Farms of Connecticut, the driver, Bruce Ranger. Number six is Singing Sensation. Owned by Shanna Gorton, driven by Drew Campbell. Number seven, Great Meadows. Owned and driven by Todd O'Day. Number eight, Runaway Girl. Owned by Alexander Cantonist. Nick Raffham driving. And number nine, Tip of My Tongue. Owned and driven by Jimmy Winnemore. Most time for the upcoming fourth race.
Northwest Pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. Fourth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing on the outside. There goes Great Meadows out for the lead. Also on the move, uh, Bikini Beach Lindy down inside Tobin's Edge comes away third. Patelli Hanover has dropped in fourth. A length back to Sweet Entity. Then comes Marty's Girl. Singing sensation, length back to a tip of my tongue and throw in the field. It's Runaway Girl. Panic turn the first time. It's Bikini Beach Lindy on top by a length. Opening quarter on the board goes in 28 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. Dashing up on the outside. Here comes Tobin's Edge. And now Tobin's Edge takes command. Bikini Beach Lindy backs off in second. Great Meadows third. Patelli Hanover fourth. Gap of two, Sweet Entity at the pylons, racing in fifth, a length back to Marty's Girl. As they swing around the clubhouse turn, as seventh on the inside, singing Sensation. Gap of a length and a half to Tip of My Tongue, and to throw in the field, it's Runaway Girl. Halftime goes in 57 and three. They straight out down the back stretch. Driving up on the outside, here comes Patelli Hanover, and Patelli Hanover at 25 to 1 takes command. Heading toward that three quarter mile marker, Tobin's Edge back to second, up on the outside. Here comes Marty's Girl, racing in third, locked in towards the inside, Bikini Beach Lindy, racing in four, three quarters up in 125 and four. Around the final turn, Patelli Hanover on top here, showing the way, three parts of a length. Marty's Girl gaining ground the outside, racing in second uh, towards the inside, racing in third, Tobin's Edge. They're at the uh, top of the stretch and turn for home, rough gated and now off stride goes Marty's Girl. It's Patelli Hanover showing the way, moving up on the outside, gaining ground. Uh, here comes Tobin's Edge. It will be Tobin's Edge in front. Time for the mile 156 and 4. All by Don Gauthier and Ralph Anderson, trained by Ralph Anderson. Driven to his first lifetime victory by Kevin Switzer Jr., Tobin's Edge pacing the mile in 156 and 4. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Fifth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off 
off and pacing. There goes Shake It Off Scarlet out for the lead. Far outside, so flow down inside. Stage West comes away third. Galactic Storm settles in fourth. Gap of two lengths to Hope I'm an Icon. On the outside, uh, South of Heaven. Gap of two lengths to Sweet Charlie. And from the field, it's Rock and Spree. Paddock turn the first time off stride goes Galactic Storm. Galactic Storm is off stride. Opening quarter on the board goes in 27 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. And Frank Affronte has so flow on top by a length. Shake it off Scarlet right there in second. Stage West a close to third. Gap of five. South of Heaven at the pylons racing at fourth. Followed up by Hope. I'm an icon. Sweet Charlie length back to Rock and Spray. Far back through on the field. Back on the pace. Galactic Storm. They swing around the clubhouse turn. So flow on top by a length. Pocket trip. Shake it off Scarlet right there. Drafting along in second. Stage West towards the inside. A ground saving third. Halftime goes in 55 and 4. On to the back stretch they go. So far, so good for So Flow. She leads it by a lathe. Shake it off, Scarlet. Right there in second. Stage West towards the inside, third. Gap of two. Uh, south of Heaven towards the inside, up on the outside. There goes Rock and Spree. Rock and Spree underway on the outside, racing in fifth. Three quarters on the board here in 125 flat. They run the final turn, So Flow at six to five with the lead. It's Shake It Off Scarlet. In hot pursuit right there. Racing in second up on the outside. Here comes Stage West racing third. They're at the uh, top of the stretch and turn for home up on the outside. Here comes Shake It Off Scarlet who draws clear, opens up by two. On the outside, here comes Stage West. Stage West on the outside. Shake It Off Scarlet, deep stretch. Shake It Off Scarlet in front. Time for the mile, 155 and one. Shake It Off Scarlet. A two-year-old day filly by American Ideal.
And the horses are on the track for race number six. A condition pacing event. The purse $12,500. These are the Pacers for race number six. Number one, Better in Cash, owned by Richard Cortese and Mark Reynolds, driven by Drew Monte. Number two, Garrett's Drama, owned and driven by Jimmy Whittemore. Number three, The Night Shadow, owned by Katie Flaherty, driven by Matt Thurn. Number four, Boogie Woogie J. Owned by Tebow Hardy and Andrews, the driver Jim Hardy. Leave and roll, number five. Owned by John D'Antonio Jr., driven by Drew Campbell. Number six is Pembroke Pirate. Owned by Don Gauthier and Ralph Anderson, the driver Jay Randall. Number seven, Roland with BK. Owned by Lynn and Paul Silva, driven by Kevin Switzer Jr. Number eight, Six Finger Freddy. Owned by Randy Bickmore and Teresa Colston. Nick Grafham driving. And number nine, Unwritten Rule. Owned by William Hart, Bruce Ranger, and the Sulky. Post time for race number six. And four minutes, four minutes until post time. One minute post time in one minute.
Less than a minute, post time less than one minute. And the starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. It is now post time. The horses are approaching the starting gate. Race six pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Race six pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing. Nice even start from the inside. Benner and Cash kicks out for the lead. From between horses, Boogie Woogie J leave and roll up on the outside. There goes unwritten rule down inside at Garrett's drama. Laid back to the Night Shadow, followed up by uh, Pembroke Pirate rolling with BK and trailing the field. It's Six Finger Freddy. Haddock turn the first time, rolling up on the outside. Here comes Better and Cash, and Better and Cash on the outside comes on to get the lead. Quarter time goes in 26 and 4. They're in the stretch for the first time. And Drew Monte has Benner and Cash on top by length. Unwritten rule is second. Gap of four. Boogie, Woogie J third. Length back and forth. Garrett's drama followed up by Leave and Roll towards the inside. The Night Shadow. Pembroke Pirate moving up on the outside. Gap of four lengths towards the inside. It's rolling with BK. And uh, at the back of the pack, Six Finger Freddy. Halftime goes in 56 and three. They straighten out down the back stretch. Drew Monty has better in cash at six to five on top by a length and a half. Honor and roll giving chase racing in second. Leave and roll on the rim. Racing third. Boxed in towards the inside. Boogie Woogie J. Racing in fourth. Pembroke Pirate on the outside. Second over racing in fifth. Three quarters here in 124 and three. They're on the final turn. Better in cash still with the lead. Opening up by two. 
Unwritten rule towards the inside is second. Leave and roll on the outside. Racing third. Off stride goes the Night Shadow. The Night Shadow off stride at the back of the pack. They're at the uh, top of the stretch. And turn for home. Benner and Cash has that lead. Up the pylons. Unwritten rule. On the far outside, Pembroke Pirate. They're coming from everywhere. Pembroke Pirate from between horses. Leave and roll. Far outside. Rolling with BK at the wire. They are heads apart. Time for the mile. 154 and 4. Returning to the winner's circle, number five, leave and roll. A four-year-old big gelding by Time to Roll, out of Lion's Puddin' Pie by a Grin from Ear to Ear. Owned by John D'Antonio Jr., trained by Erwin Rosenthal, driven to victory by Drew Campbell, leave and roll. Pacing the mile in 154 and four-fifths. Race six is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Better in Cash was third. Garrett's Drama eighth. The Night Shadow ninth. Boogie Woogie J fourth. Leave and Roll, your race winner. Pembroke Pirate fifth. Rolling with BK second. Six Finger Freddy seventh. Unwritten Rule was sixth. Top down a three, eight, nine, four, one, five, two, seven, six on the bottom. Time for the mile, 154 and 4. There was no winning ticket 
in the Wicked High Five. The Wicked High Five jackpot carry over $984. Once again, going into race nine this afternoon, the Wicked High Five jackpot carry over $984. Moving on to the seventh race in your program. No changes in the upcoming seventh race. In the upcoming seventh race, there will be exacta, trifecta, and superfecta wagering. Post time for race number seven, nine minutes. And the horses are on the track for the upcoming seventh race. A conditioned pacing event, the purse $8,500. These are the Pacers for race number seven. Number one, Cousin Tumbleweed, owned by Dixon, Yuli, Accardi, and Joyce, driven by Tato Day. Number two is my boy, Cade, owned by Nancy Longobardi, driven by Drew Monte. Number three, Rest Assured, owned by London, Sepinuk, Brewer, and Kelson, driven by Nick Raffo. Number four, Tim McMickey, Owned by Emery Pelletier, the driver Bruce Ranger. Great pop-up, number five. Owned by Joe Wheeler, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number six is Ain't No Hill That High. Owned by Paul McHugh, Drew Campbell driving. And number seven, Major 10. Owned by Richard Otto, Jim Hardy, and the Sulky. That's your field for race number seven. They'll be at the gate 
in four minutes, only four minutes until post time. One minute post time and one minute. Less than a minute post time, less than one minute.
And the starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. It is now post time. Uh, horses are approaching the starting gate. Seventh race pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. Seventh race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Rest assured tries for the lead. Down inside at Cousin Tumbleweed moving up on the outside. There goes Great Pop-Up down inside. My boy Kate followed up by Tim McMickey. Right back to Ain't No Hill That High, and a trail in the field, it's Major 10. Had a turn the first time, Cousin Tumbleweed with the lead. Cousin Tumbleweed shows the lane by two. Racing in second, great pop-up. Quarter time goes in 27-2. and two. They're in the stretch for the first time. Todd O'Day has Cousin Tumbleweed on top. Driving up on the outside, great pop-up towards the inside. Racing in third, my boy Cade. Gap of seven lengths to rest assured. Racing in fourth. Then comes Tim McMickey, length back, ain't no hill that high, and trail in the field, major 10. They swing around the clubhouse turn. It's Cousin Tumbleweed on the engine, shown the way by a length. In the pocket, great pop-up is second. Down inside, my boy Kate up on the outside. There goes Tim McMickey. Halftime goes in 56 and 3. On to the back stretch they go with a rush on the outside. Here comes my boy Cade. Down inside, Cousin Tumbleweed. Off stride goes my boy Cade. They round the far turn, rolling up on the outside. Here comes Rest Assured now. Down inside, Cousin Tumbleweed. Those two heads apart. Poised on the outside, Tim McMickey. Racing in third, three quarters here in 126 and one. They're on the final bend. Rest Assured on the outside. Comes on to get the lead. Uh, Gaining ground on the outside. Here comes Tim McMickey gaining ground. Tim McMickey on the outside now second. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home. Rest assured down inside. Hanging tough. Tim McMickey right there on the far outside. Here comes Ain't No Hill That High. Ain't No Hill That High. Tim McMickey and great pop-up deep stretch. It will be Tim McMickey in front. Time for the mile. 156 and 3.
Returning to the winner's circle, number four, Tim McMickey. A three-year-old big gilding by Always Be Mickey. Out of Do You Know Where You're Going by Some Beach Somewhere. Owned by Emery Pelletier, trained by Randy Bickmore, driven to victory by Bruce Ranger. Tim McMickey pacing the mile in 156 and 3. The seventh race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Cousin Tumbleweed, fifth. My boy Cade was seventh. Rest assured, third. Tim McMickey, your race winner. Great pop-up, second. Ain't no hill that high, fourth. Major ten was sixth. Top down, a five, seven, three. One, two, four, six on the bottom. Time for the mile, 156 and three. In the upcoming eighth race, there will be exact a trifecta and superfecta wagering post time for the upcoming eighth race in 10 minutes.
And the horses are making their way on to the racetrack for the upcoming eighth race, a conditioned pacing event for fillies and mares. The purse, $10,000. These are the Pacers for race number eight, number one, Western Step. Owned by Diane Dunn, driven by Nick Raffham. Number two, Artistic Dance. Owned by Jessica Smith, driven by Drew Monty. Number three, Heaven's Challenge. Owned by the Leaded Ride Stables, the driver Drew Campbell. Number four, Hilaria. Owned by Ralph Anderson, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Easy Three, number five. Owned by the Losses Racing Stable, driven by Sean Gray. Number six is Steal My Thunder. Owned by Dan Ticillo, Jr., driven by Matt a Third. Number seven is Mouth Watering. Owned by the Jackie Green Stables, Jay Randall Driving. And number eight, Glen Ferry Blade A. Owned by Melissa Beckwith, Bruce Ranger, and the Sulky. That's your field for the upcoming eighth race. They'll be at the gate in four minutes, four minutes until post time. This is your two-minute warning, post time in two minutes.
one minute post time in one minute. Under a minute, post time less than one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. We have a late scratch here in race number eight. Number seven, mouth watering is a judge's scratch. Once again, late scratch here in the eighth race. Number seven, mouth watering is a judge's scratch. Once again, we do have a late scratch here in the eighth race. Number seven, mouth watering, is a judge's scratch.
Still time to wager on race eight. Exacta trifecta and superfecta wagering available here in the eighth race. And the starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. It is now post time. The horses are approaching the starting gate. Eighth race pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Eighth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Western Step tries for the lead. Far outside, there goes Glen Ferry Blade A from between horses. Still my thunder. Hilaria has dropped in, racing in fourth. A length back to Artistic Dance. Your trailers are Heaven's Challenge. At the back of the pack, it's Easy Three. Paddock turn the first time, rolling up on the outside. Here comes Glen Ferry Blade A to get the lead. As they pace by the opening quarter in 26 and 2, they're in the stretch for the first time. And Bruce Ranger has Glen Ferry Blade A on top by length. Right there in second, it's Western Step. Steal My Thunder third. Hilaria racing in fourth up on the outside. Artistic Dance followed by Heaven's Challenge. And from the field, it's Easy Three. As they swing around the clubhouse turn, Glen Ferry Blade A, she's got the lead. Three parts of a length driving up on the outside. Here comes Hilaria. Western step towards the inside, takes up the chase in third. They're halfway home in 55 and four. They straighten now down the back stretch. And Hilaria draws clear, opens up by two, heading toward that three quarter mile marker. Glen Ferry Blade A back to second, up on the outside. Racing in third, that is Artistic Dance, locked in towards the inside. Western Step is fourth. As they round the fourth turn, Hilaria strides out to a five length lead. Three quarters on the board here in 123 flat. They're on the final turn. Hilaria with a big lead approaching the uh, top of the stretch. Artistic dance on the outside. Up on the outside. Three wide. Heavens challenge. Racing in third. They're at the uh, top of the stretch. And turn for home. And Hilaria is long gone. Battle for a second on the grandstand side. 
Here comes Easy 3 in deep stretch. It will be Hilaria in full command. Easy 3 up for second. Heaven's Challenge was third. Time for the mile, 153 and 1. Returning to the winner circle, number four, Hilaria. An eight-year-old day mare by Cheyenne Hollywood. At a poster, Hanover by Real Desire. Owned and trained by Ralph Anderson. Training double for Ralph Anderson. Driven to victory by Kevin Switzer, Jr. That is a driving double for Kevin Switzer, Jr. Hilaria pacing the mile in 153 and 15th. Eighth race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Western Step was fourth. Artistic Dance fifth. Heaven's Challenge third. Hilaria, your race winner. Easy three second. Steal My Thunder sixth. Mouthwatering scratched. Glen Ferry Blade A was seventh. Top down, four, five, three, one, two, six, scratch, seven on the bottom. Time for the mile, 153 and one. No winning ticket in the uh, pick six. The consolation 414544 returns $20, and the pick six carry over $547. In the upcoming ninth race, there will be exact a trifecta and 20 cent Wicked I 5 wagering. The Wicked I 5 jackpot carry over $984. Post time for the upcoming ninth race in seven minutes.
horses are making their way onto the racetrack for the upcoming ninth race. A condition pacing event for fillies and mares. The purse, $8,000. These are the Pacers for race number nine. Number one, CBF Baroness, owned by Gwen Harris and Marion Phelps, driven by Bruce Ranger. Number two, Royalty again, owned by Richard Knight, driven by Drew Campbell. Number three, Life is a Short Walk, owned by Jesse McCassey, the driver is Sean Gray. Number four, Weekend Getaway, owned by the Ethereum Racing Stable, driven by Drew Monte. Jackpot Jesse, number five. Owned by Amanda Martin, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number six, GW Show Faith. Owned by Robert Kopak, the driver, Nick Raffham. Number seven, a sweet Western. Owned by Jessica Smith, driven by Ron Cushing. Number eight, Love, Live, Laugh. Owned by Diane Whittemore, Jimmy Whittemore, driving. And number nine, Kitty Russell. Owned by Kathleen Brewer, Jay Randall in the Sulky. Post time for the upcoming ninth race in two minutes, only two minutes until post time. Less than a minute post time, less than one minute.
the starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. It is now post time. The horses are approaching the starting gate. Ninth race pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Ninth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Royalty again steps out for the lead. Moving up on the outside. There goes GW Show Faith down inside. CBF Baroness comes away third. Life is a short walk has dropped in a fourth. A length back to Weekend Getaway. Followed up by Jackpot Jesse. Link back to uh, Sweet Western. Love, live, laugh. And trill in the field, it's Kitty Russell. Panic turn the first time. GW Show Faith on top here. She leads it by a length. Opening quarter on the board goes in 27-4. and four, uh, Passing the stands for the first time. Nick Ruffham has GW Show Faith at 13-1 to one on the point. Royalty again is second. Uh, CBF Aaron is third. Uh, life is a short walk. Racing in fourth, followed up by Weekend Getaway up on the outside. There goes Sweet Western. Locked in towards the inside, Jackpot Jesse. Length back towards the inside, Love Live Laugh, and on the field, it's Kitty Russell. Halftime goes in 57-2. and two. They strain out down the back stretch. GW Show Faith continues to lead. Royalty again giving chase in the pocket. Racing in second up on the outside, Life is a short walk. Racing third, trapped in towards the inside. CBF Baroness up on the outside, second over. Sweet Western as they round the fourth turn. G W Show Faith has been there every step of the way. Royalty again in hot pursuit up on the outside. Life is a short walk. We'll have to do better in third. Three quarters here in 125 and two. They're on the final turn. G W Show Faith still with the lead. Royalty again with a clear shot. Racing in second, down inside. Racing in third, Sweet Western. They're homeward bound, and it's G.W. Show Faith showing the way, bearing down on the outside. Here comes Royalty again. Royalty again puts ahead in front, deep stretch. Royalty again coming on. Time for the mile, 154-1.
Returning to the winner's circle number two, royalty again. Five-year-old name here by Royal Majesty. Out of here again by American Ideal. All by Richard Knight, trained by Randy Bickmore. Driven to victory by uh, Drew Campbell. That is a driving double for Drew Campbell. That's two for Drew. Royalty again, pacing the mile in one, 54 and one. Ninth race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, CBF Baroness was third. Royalty again, your race winner. Life is a short walk, fifth. Weekend getaway, fourth. Jack Jesse sixth. GW Show Faith was second. Sweet Western, seventh. Love Live Laugh was eighth. Kitty Russell, ninth. Top down, a three one five four six two seven eight nine on the bottom. Time for the mile, 154 and 1. There was no winning ticket in the Wicked Eye 5. The Constellation Combination 26143 returns $177.80. And the Wicked Eye 5 carryover, $1,517. In the upcoming 10th race, there will be exacta, trifecta, Superfecta and late daily double wager. Post time for the upcoming 10th race in eight minutes.
And the horses are entering the uh, track for race number 10, a condition pacing event for fillies and mares. The per $17,500. These are the Pacers for race number 10. Number one, Surreal Syra, owned by Dan Ticello Jr., driven by Matt Athern. Number two, So Amazing, owned by Nancy and Dominic Longobardi, driven by Bruce Ranger. Number three, Team Kiwi N, owned by Mark Eaton and Robert Griffin, the driver Drew Monte. Number four, Dogia Gigi, owned by Mary Lynn Irvine, the driver Nick Raffham. Seafood Sweetheart, number five, owned by the uh, Seafood Delight Stable, Sean Gray driving. And number six, Sweet Sue, owned by David and Christine Tebow, and Robert and Julia Withers, Jim Hardy in the Sulky. Post time for the upcoming 10th race in three minutes, only three minutes until post time. One minute post time and one minute.
the starter has called uh, for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. It is now post time. The horses are approaching the starting gate. Race 10 pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Tenth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. There goes So Amazing quickly out for the lead. Good start for So Amazing. Far outside, Sweet Sue down inside, Surreal Syrah. Then comes Team Kiwi N racing in fourth. Length back to Dojia Gigi and Trill the field at Seafood Sweetheart. Panic turn the first time. So Amazing on top here. It's So Amazing with the lead. Right there in second, Surreal Syrah. Sweet Sue moving up towards the inside third as they pace by the opening quarter. In 28 and 2, they're in the stretch for the first time. And Bruce Ranger has so amazing at 4 to 1 on the point. Tracking in second, it's a real Syrah. Sweet Sue towards the inside, watching the action in third. Length back and forth, Team Kiwi in, followed up by Doji Ajiji. Your trailer is Seafood Sweetheart. They swing around the clubhouse, turn so amazing with the lead. A pocket trip, Surreal Syrah. Riding the pocket in second, Sweet Sue stays in third up on the outside. First up, here comes team Kiwi in, underway from fourth. Halftime goes in 57 and 1. They strain out down the back stretch. So amazing, continues to lead on the attack on the outside. Here comes team Kiwi in, locked in towards the inside, Surreal Syra. Racing in third up on the outside, Doji Gigi racing in fourth. Towards the inside, Sweet Sue and true on the field. That is Seafood Sweetheart, three quarters. In 124 and 2, they're on the final turn. It's so amazing. Three parts of a length. Right there on the outside, team Kiwi in. Towards the inside, Surreal Syrah. Racing in third. Up on the outside, Sweet Sue racing in fourth. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home. And it's so amazing trying to shake off team Kiwi in. Their heads apart coming down to the wire. And team Kiwi in takes command in deep stretch. Team Kiwi in in front. Time for the mile, 153 and 1.
Returning to the winner circle number three, Team Kiwi in. A six year old bay mare by Better's Delight. Head of Kiwi Ingenuity by Christian Cohen. Owned by Mark Eaton and Robert Griffin. Trained by Mark Eaton. Driven to victory by Drew Monte. Team Kiwi in pacing the mile in 1.53 and 1. The 10th race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Cyril Syrah, fourth. So Amazing was second. Team Kiwi N, your race winner. Doji at GG, fifth. Seafood Sweetheart, sixth. Sweet Sue was third. Top down, 4 2 one, five, six, three on the bottom. Time for the mile, 153 and 1. In the upcoming 11th and final race, there will be exacta. Trifecta and Superfecta wagering post time for race number 11 in nine minutes. And the horses are making their way on to the racetrack for today's 11th and final race. A condition pacing event for fillies and mares. The purse, $15,000.